what is row access? Row access, right? So we've got a table. Um, we have a number of, of analysts that are querying this table, but we want to limit their access. We have some analysts that we want them to see some data. We have another analyst that we want to see different data. We want to be able to limit that all against the same table. And we want to make that very easy to be able to do. And so what we can do with Snowflake row access policies is we can actually put this in place. And we'll show you, we're going to show this in the demo. But basically, a row access policy, it's a schema level object that it determines what it's doing. It's determining whether a given row in a table or view can be viewed by by that user. And um, and we can use it in a couple of different types of statements. So we can use it in select statements, right? We've got a user that's running a, a select query. We're going to determine whether they can see this data or not in, in this row. Um, it also is used in update, delete, and merge statements. And so the way that, it, that the row um, access policy would be used in those is, um, again, you can only update, delete, or merge uh, rows that you have access to. Um, and so if, if you didn't have access to a certain row, you couldn't select it, uh, but you also wouldn't be able to delete it. You wouldn't be able to use it in a merge statement to merge it into another table. Um, and you wouldn't be able to update it. Hey, folks, thanks for checking out this cut from our broadcast. To see the full show, click on the link in the video description. Also, check out our learning center, which has white papers, events, live streams, and short explainer videos on a wide range of data management topics. And of course, if you like our content, please share it on LinkedIn. That really means a lot to us. Thanks again for checking us out, and we hope to see you in our next broadcast.